Welcome, fellow ocean explorers, to a deep sea adventure like no other. Today, we are diving into the captivating world of puffer fish, those underwater marvels that puff up, puff out, and puff away their predators with style. From their ingenious self-defense strategies, like the art of puffing up, to their mysterious and deadly toxins that deter even the boldest of predators, puffer fish are a true enigma of the ocean. We'll reveal their culinary delights, with a risky twist, their artistic talents, and even their peculiar interactions with dolphins that might leave you scratching your head. So, if you're ready to be entertained, educated, and utterly amazed, stay tuned as we unlock the underwater secrets of pufferfish that will blow your mind. Pufferfish, not deep dwellers. Picture this, you are a puffer fish, and you've got a laid-back vibe that's all about sun, sand, and tropical waters. Well, that's the pufferfish life for you. These quirky underwater creatures, with their pond shone for puffing up like aquatic balloons, prefer to hang out in warm, tropical waters. They're the beach bums of the fish world, sidestepping the icy depths of polar oceans like vacation pros. You'll find them leisurely cruising the shallow coastal waters of Central America, Northern South America, Africa, the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, and Northern Australia. Sure, they might venture a bit further north or south into temperate waters, but you won't catch them in those chilly polar regions. Pufferfish are all about those tropical vibes, and they're content to soak up the sun in their preferred oceanic haunts. Puffer Chow Time Puffer fish, the underwater culinary adventurers, don't just stick to a single item on the menu. They're more like seafood enthusiasts with eclectic tastes. What's on their plate, you ask? Everything from crisp algae to crunchy mollusks. These oceanic foodies are true omnivores, which means they aren't picky eaters. Whether it's a tasty snack of algae or a hearty meal of mussels, clams, and other mollusks, they're up for the challenge. What's more, pufferfish are equipped with beak-like mouths and formidable teeth, ready to take on whatever the ocean serves them. They use those bony teeth to expertly crush their prey, turning even the toughest mollusks into bite-sized morsels. So, if you ever dine with a pufferfish, expect a diverse and adventurous menu that'll leave your taste buds tingling with curiosity. These underwater gourmands are always up for a seafood feast. Deadly Puffers In the ocean's grand gallery of peculiar self-defense mechanisms, pufferfish have a star exhibit, their ability to puff up. At first glance, these slow-moving, slightly awkward fish might seem like easy targets for oceanic predators. But think again. The pufferfish's most iconic defense strategy involves inflating their bodies to turn into unappetizing, spiky balloons. How do they do it? Well, they start by gulping down water, dramatically expanding their bellies. This not only makes them look bigger and less appealing to predators but also poses a significant choking hazard to any would-be attackers. Imagine trying to snack on a puffer fish, only to find it swelling up in your mouth. This unique defense is just one of the many survival tricks these fish have up their fins. And trust us, there's more to come. Puffer on a plate? Here's the kicker. Puffer fish, in addition to being inflatable wonders of the sea, are incredibly poisonous. Yes, you read that right. Almost all species of puffer fish pack a punch with a deadly duo of toxins, tetrodotoxin and neurotoxin, that can be found in various parts of their bodies, including their skin, ovaries, livers, and intestines. These toxins are like their secret superpower, keeping most predators at bay, including us humans. However, there's a twist in this fishy tale. Some brave souls, particularly in Japan, indulge in a dish known as fugu, which is made from pufferfish. But here's the catch. Only highly trained chefs, armed with the knowledge of safe preparation, can serve it. One wrong move, and that delightful dinner could take a dangerous turn. It's like dining on the edge, where every bite is a high-stakes adventure in itself. Puffer Picasso Let's talk about pufferfish with an artistic flair. Meet the male white-spotted pufferfish, residents of the coastal waters of Japan. These guys have a unique way of impressing potential mates, their underwater Picassos. It all starts with a carefully selected spot in the sandy ocean floor. 
With purpose and precision, they begin to create intricate, geometric patterns by propelling their bodies through the sand. The resulting underwater, crop circles, resemble something out of a sci-fi movie or even intricate Buddhist mandala paintings. But no, these mesmerizing designs are the handiwork of none other than the tiny white-spotted pufferfish, using their artistic prowess to attract the attention of potential partners. Who knew fish could be so creative? Small but mighty. Pufferfish may not be the ocean's heavyweight champions, but they make up for it with personality. These quirky creatures tend to be on the small side, with most measuring less than 15 inches in length. Some of the more diminutive members, like the Malabar pufferfish, barely stretch beyond 1.5 inches in adulthood, proving that big things come in small packages. However, there's always an exception to the rule. Meet the giant freshwater pufferfish, the heavyweight champion of the puffer world, growing up to a whopping 26 inches in length. These gentle giants are like the NBA players of the pufferfish league. But no matter their size, pufferfish have an undeniable charm that makes them stand out in the underwater crowd. Warm Water Wonders If you are imagining pufferfish as deep sea explorers, think again. These fish are more like beachcombers who prefer the sun-soaked shores of coastal waters. Unlike the great white sharks that roam the deep or the massive blue whales that rule the open ocean, pufferfish are common sights in shallow tropical waters. You'll often find them hanging out around coral reefs, sandy shallows, and sandbars, basking in the warm embrace of coastal life. So, if you are planning to go snorkeling or diving in these inviting waters, keep an eye out for these highly defensible, puff-prone fish. But remember, they're not the cuddly kind, so admire from a safe distance and never, ever attempt to make them your lunch. The Inflatable Defense We've talked about how pufferfish inflate to escape danger, but there's more to their defensive arsenal. Many puffer species come equipped with spiny bodies designed to catch in the throats of would-be predators. They're like the aquatic version of porcupines, ready to give any attacker a mouthful of regret. So, when threatened, these spiky defenders not only puff up like balloons but also make themselves a challenging and dangerous meal. It's a double whammy of self-preservation that has earned pufferfish a reputation for being more trouble than they're worth on a predator's menu. It's safe to say that when dealing with pufferfish, it's best to admire from afar and avoid any culinary experiments. Dolphins, the puffer connoisseurs. Here's a pufferfish fact that's more like a plot twist in the ocean's ongoing drama. When pufferfish feel threatened, they emit chemical deterrents into the water. These chemicals have a foul smell, intended to scare off predators. It's like their underwater version of a, keep out, sign. But there's something curious about this chemical concoction. For some dolphins, it appears to have an unexpected effect. Instead of being repelled, these playful dolphins seem to purposefully inhale the foul-smelling liquids. And here's where it gets even more bizarre. Immediately after this, inhalation therapy, these dolphins start acting a bit funky. It's led some researchers to speculate that these dolphins might be, quite literally, getting high, off the pufferfish supply. Talk about an unexpected twist in the ocean story. Freshwater fish out of water. While most pufferfish are oceanic nomads, some defy convention and make freshwater their home. Meet the MBU pufferfish, also known as the giant freshwater pufferfish. These unique fish thrive in the Congo and Malagarasi rivers of Africa, as well as in Lake Tanganyika. They're like the freshwater champions of the puffer world, showing that pufferfish can adapt to different aquatic environments. But that's not all, there's another freshwater standout, the Fahaka pufferfish. These feisty fish call the Nile River home, making them a rare find in the world of freshwater fish. For aquarium enthusiasts, these freshwater pufferfish are prized additions, adding a touch of exotic charm to their aquatic setups. So, whether in saltwater or freshwater, pufferfish are proof that adaptability is a fishy virtue. As we bid adieu to our pufftastic adventure, I hope you're leaving with a newfound appreciation for these underwater wonders. Pufferfish have shown us that in the vast and mysterious ocean, surprises are around every coral corner. 
If you're as intrigued as we are by the aquatic world's oddities, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-boggling journeys beneath the waves. Share this video with your fellow ocean enthusiasts, and let's keep the curiosity flowing. And always remember, just like a pufferfish puffing up for protection, life's full of remarkable ways to shield and inspire us. So, until our next deep sea rendezvous, stay curious, stay amazed, and keep exploring the extraordinary world beneath the surface. Thanks for diving in with us, and we'll catch you on the flip side of the tide. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.